All right, we see someone with the number 0770 and then something. Hello, beautiful. Hello, lovely ladies. How do you know when your baby daddy is ready to settle with you? Let me tell you, first of all, what? And then also, huh? And then also, what? What? Look. Hey. Wow. Baby daddy. Hey. Well, these are the kinds of women who start to see their, and even men, because it's a man and female thing. Uh, when you start to see your former partner or the father or the mother of your child with someone else, and in the back of your mind, you're always going like, yeah, them, that's temporary. Uh, because he sent you a message last night and told you the way he loves you and this other woman or this other man is just, you know, is, is temporary. You, your love will remain. You shall remain the one that sits on the throne of their heart and their mind. It's Look, diamond and nonsense. Zari. Mama yes. T. Mama T. What kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> Look, I feel like we need to get to this point as women in general, and I'm thinking this was a woman, where we stop waiting. True. This waiting game is no longer serving us. True. Sitting down and waiting for a man to see you, a man to notice your presence, a man to finally figure out that, oh no, he can go up, down, hill, hell, and eventually they will realize that you were the one for them the whole time. And all you did the whole time as they were moving and gallivanting about town is waited. Yeah, no, we're not doing that anymore. That's it doesn't serve you, it doesn't serve them, it doesn't give you the chance to actually explore yourself, figure out what you want. What if they're really not what you want? But because you are so hell bent on them being the one, simply because you all had a child together, you all did bad things to each other's bodies, and then a baby was born. Now you think that they're supposed to be the love of your life, the rock of your salvation, and the eternal father of all your children. No, let's learn to stop waiting. Exactly. If eventually they decide at some point or another that they, you were the one for them and they made mistakes and they come back and they find you with someone else, that's a them problem. But let it not be that you're the one waiting for their beck and call. It's unfair. It's, it's torture on your mental uh, situation. It's, it's, it's showing the, the bad examples to your children. Like it is just, it's a lot of Again, conditioning, both societal and cultural, that needs to be changed. Exactly. We don't all have to have the same story where, oh yeah, he used to be a drunk, he used to be crazy, he used to spend all his him. money, and then the Lord touched him. That kind of nonsense, we left it in 2022. Exactly. Please, this is 2023. If you're not with us, leave it alone. And also, how do you know? You're gonna know. Communication is going to be consistent and constant all right this man will actually show you with actions and words that he is willing to give time not only to you but to your child mm -hmm. he shall be responsible i am talking financial spiritual emotional he will show responsibility he will show attention he will give you the time to listen to hear to go to do all those things that you're wanting from a person from a lover he will do all those things and that is how you will know he's for you otherwise exactly. honey mm -hmm. you're wasting your time we really need to stop romanticizing suffering yes. especially when it comes to relationship mm -mm. you know mm -mm. and you're thinking just because i have invested all of this time and energy mm -mm. and effort into this person i am deserving of something from it you know mm -hmm. i need something from this situation like you need to show roi exactly well, like business. you need to show your capacity to withstand problems so that you're worthy of you know being settled mm -hmm. down with but that is not what you want because all you're doing is being a place holder well this man figures out his life figures out who he really wants to be with and then when that's done you become the bitter baby mama and we don't want that for, for you and i'm saying this because when a man wants you when a man likes you you will know mm -hmm. you you will feel it in your bones mm -hmm. there's reassurance there's communication Respect. they tell you yes. they tell you listen i may not be you know capable of getting married right now maybe the finances are financing maybe i want to give you your dream wedding you know they'll communicate they will tell you they will reassure you this may not be possible right now but i am in this with you they will you will not be out here second guessing yourself yep. and wondering is he really serious mm -hmm. about me are we doing this you're just a placeholder so you need to stop romanticizing your situation 
and get out. Romanticizing suffering. Exactly. You don't no, have to exactly. suffer for you to get the end goal of love. Hi. Like the the end of the of the road for suffering, trials and tribulations, pain and crying and oh my god, I have suffered. We've gone through so much. No, you don't have to go through so much. Hi. In fact, you don't have to go through anything for you to have the love of your life. True. Let's stop making toxicity become a thing that we we, we that's how you know it's true love. It's eh? not when you have cried and crew and when he went and saw others and he came back because you watch Bridgerton you think and that's that used to be a problem with me you know I'd watch something by Shonda Rhimes and say no he's just acting indifferent towards me he has because mental he's health sorting issues. out he's sorting out his inner thoughts Ugh. and I will not stress him can you stop that nonsense please can you grow up movies are not really can you realize what you want and yeah. go for it as mm -hmm. in Hey, I'm sorry you were so cruel. We, we're not cruel. <laughs> we're being honest, though. Cause it, and it's not just you we're speaking to directly. We're, your situation could be very different. But like the waiting, the not knowing, I mean, I can only imagine what you're going through. You're thinking, oh, he hasn't called me. Now you're sad. You know? Yes. Oh, my child is probably not going to have the father that he... Babes. Uh, you know. Listen, listen. Do not worry about it. I can see your feedback coming in. We have somebody tuned in. Gracie from Kitangala saying Nimewa Miss. Kathomi Hizo Thai Botsikwa. What's Thank happening? you. We also have somebody else saying, Hi Kathomi and Tui, you look amazing this evening. Uh, I am sorry I never congratulated you. Anyway, congratulations. I think she's talking about your engagement. Oh, also. yeah, I got engaged. Exactly. <laughs> I've been off for a while, but I couldn't miss to watch the show. I love you guys so much. Continue giving us chai. We will. That is Mama Casely from Embercast. It's been a long time, Mama Casely. Wow, wow, wow. Mama Natasha, where are you? Where, uh, Mama Stacy? I mean, where are you people? You know we've been away, but we are back. Can you please send a message so we know we are all together? Anyway, uh, next thing. I think we need to move on to the next part of the show. Uh -huh. So make sure you're with us. Keep your messages coming through on 0770-729-366. Yeah, we also have Evangeline from Kasarani watching saying, where did you girls learn how to do your makeup? Um, it's always on point. Trial and error, okay? Mm. Go back to our socials and see the things we mm. used to do. Mm. We also have Anne from Kiamu saying, Hey ladies, it's been a minute, but I am back. To refer, I can tell how uncomfortable you are. ni homa. When children go go back to school, they just bring their jumps with them. Yeah. But we're okay. We're okay. We're yeah, good. She's surviving. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so a little bit of wheezing here and there, but yeah. she shall be fine. <laughs> tumekunywa dawa, tumekunywa majimoto, among other concoctions. Exactly. She'll be fine. <laughs>